Guardians aren't supposed to investigate their past. That's the rule. But I'm not good with rules. Not when there's this much at stake. The Clovis Bray tech in that building allowed us to colonize the system during the Golden Age. We, they, sought to create peace for all humanity. Which is ironic, because they also built Rasputin, the single most powerful weapon in the solar system. Either way, it's all been entombed on Mars since the collapse. Along with something far more terrifying. Hello and welcome my fellow homo sapien friends and today we are back with another Destiny 2 update video for the Warmind DLC that actually arrives on May the 8th. Now if you didn't manage to catch the live stream yesterday from Bungie then don't worry I'm here to break down the little bits that you probably missed. Now there wasn't a great deal of information actually brought out for the actual DLC there was no number of missions that you needed to do adventures anything like that they've just said that basically there's going to be a new type of event that you have to do which is similar to a public event but it feels more like a raid layer if I'm honest like a raid encounter especially something from maybe like Crota's End or something like that and it looks incredible to be fair um, but we'll go into more detail of that in, in a moment. Now with the new DLC they're bringing out new adventures, new missions um, obviously we've got Anna Bray who is obviously going to be the vendor for Mars so we're going to be able to buy stuff off her. There's also going to be lost sectors, new rewards and new armor sets and weapons. Now I'm basically going to sum up what the escalation protocol is. Basically it's seven waves and each wave with getting harder with a more unique boss at the end. There's going to be a different boss every week which will drop a unique item which you can only get from doing this encounter and fighting the boss. So that's pretty good. The only problem I can see with that is it's only going to last five weeks. If you're like a hardcore player and you've got that. I mean it's a good idea like having different bosses rotate each week. But like for the hardcore players that are going to be doing this constantly, I think I think it's going to be a very easy step for them. Definitely, they're going to be really grinding these like to get their level up and stuff like that because they've, they've basically made this encounter near impossible to do the first time you complete the campaign. You have to be almost max level or have loads of people in the public area to help you out with this so that's quite good they've also said that the difficulty on this encounter is actually going to be super hard so before you enter it maybe think about like what supers you're going to take with you what armor sets you're going to take with you to help you boost up your damage and resilience and stuff like that and definitely pick your weapons because this is going to be wave after wave of constant hive each wave getting harder now there will be things to help you there, like there's, they've got like this thing called the Valkyrie. Now if you've watched the teaser trailer, it's that little like glowing on fire rod and it looks incredible. There's a bit of gameplay and it, it just basically launches like this giant spear and it just explodes. So it kind of acts like a rocket launcher in a way and that looks pretty cool to be fair. Now there is going to be different mechanics to this escalation protocol as well. The, this is what I mean why I said it was going to be more like a, a raiding counter because you're going to have to stand on plates and kill knights. Uh, if you don't kill these knights basically what happens is 
the hive will just disappear and obviously the the, the timer will count down because you, you, you're being timed for every round that you do so you know it's going to be a very challenging you're going to need to coordinate and cooperate with each other and just try and get this shit done now this encounter will only be available once you've completed the main story so it's a bit like the curse of osiris in that sort of aspect where you wasn't really allowed to explore the planet until you've done the main campaign which is fair enough because obviously that's the sort of end game grind that you needed like you get all the main story out of the way first so you get to see what's going on how it all became like this and stuff like that and then you get into the grinding part of it they've put more of an emphasis on grinding especially in the end game which is fantastic for me because that's that's what was missing like for me i quite like grinding and especially i don't want to be getting everything handed to me i like to grind for it i like to spend time on it like days and weeks trying to grind for this one item that i need you know what i mean like i found that in the first few months of destiny that i actually played it that i was pretty much just getting everything given to me and i don't, i didn't really like that I, I felt it was very easy and it needed to be more challenging and more of a grind to get what i actually needed and that's what they've promised us they've promised us that that's going to happen so the escalation protocol can start whenever it, it you you don't have to wait for a timer or a certain place or anything like that to to activate it any anyone can join that's in the public's place too so if you are on a planet with loads of people you should be fine like if you if you activate it and there's only literally your fire team, it's going to be a bit difficult for you. But it, it, it's not impossible. It's just very difficult. Obviously, you can gain unique weapons from doing this encounter as well. They've only specified on two, so so you can see the shotgun being used now. Basically, it's got a perk that if you get a melee hit, you actually do extra damage on your next shot, which it, it can be pretty useful, especially when you're like being swarmed. Like you could take a shot, punch, and then take another shot of the, the the one coming behind it. So with especially with the thrall, I definitely think this will be a good weapon, and it looks pretty good as well. Now they've also specified there's going to be a sniper. Now personally, I don't use snipers. So I don't know if I'm going to want to grind for this weapon. It's more more for bragging rights, I suppose, like having it there anyway. But there's going to be a perk on that, says uh, which is called box breathing. Now box breathing, you aim down the sights long enough just before you take a shot, and it actually boosts the damage. So if you take your time with the shot, it, the longer it takes, like. The, the more powerful the shot and obviously you have to get headshots to do any significant real damage to it and obviously you, there's a unique armor set for each class the hunter titan and the warlock which you can only get from doing this encounter as well so it is worth grinding for that however how easy you get it you know depends doesn't it really now i'm just going to go a little bit off topic here but i don't know if you notice there's something under the bridge now they didn't emphasize on what this was or what it was for but it was definitely moving now they're similar to the things that you find on io when you do the rasputin missions on there now as to what their purpose is is completely unknown right now but i'm hoping that once the game releases it'll tell you anyway i'll just pause it right here for you and you can see like a diamond shape rotating thing now like i said i don't know what these are for these are just things that i picked up on and obviously I, I spotted a um a lost sector as well in the gameplay so might be worth just trying to look out for those whether they're going to up the ante on those and make it a bit more challenging when you go into it is going to be completely different each stage it looks like there's a chest that drops as well once you've done the encounter as you can see there's still only dropping tokens and a blue engram which is you know pretty piss poor but if you get to the end i'm sure the rewards will be much more greater i'm hoping so anyway because i think that was the problem with the curse of osiris that it only had one public event. It took about two minutes to do. And all you got was a token and two blues. Like there, there was a meme for this somewhere, I'm pretty sure. And people were just taking the piss out of it. So, you know, it's never good when it when your fan base like takes the piss out of the rewards they actually receive from doing an encounter like that. So I'm hoping they've upped the ante on that sort of made it worth grinding for. So finally, I'm just going to note that PS4 are going to have its exclusives when the Warmind DLC drops as well. We're going to get a new strike called the Insight Terminus. And the description reads, Zavala needs a team of Guardians to break into a Vex tomb on Nessus that has been overrun by the Cabal. Defeat the powerful Scion commander before he takes over the Vex gateway network and reap the rewards. 
So obviously I found this on my Instagram page and I just had to let you all know about it. Obviously the the new armor set is there as well and the new strike with it on the next page. So that is all coming to the PS4 once the Warmind DLC drops. Now that should about do it for this video. Obviously I will do a couple more videos explaining all the bits that I've missed. I just didn't want to cram it all into one video. You'd get bored. So I'm going to do bits in the series for this. So if you did like this video, please hit that like button. If you do want to see more videos from me, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell next to it and you'll never miss any of the videos. Now, if you've got any thoughts on what you are most looking forward to or what you're hoping for from the Warmind DLC, then please don't be afraid to comment down below and let me know your thoughts. So I'm going to say thank you very much for watching this video. Please take care of yourself and others and bye bye for now. <laughs>